In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus from a phone into this, a full-blown computing machine. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you the Samsung DeX Station. The DeX Station allows you to plug in your S8 or S8 Plus and have it go onto a full monitor or TV so that you can use your phone as a full computer with a keyboard and mouse. So here in the box of the DeX station, we have a fast charger which will power the device as well as charge your phone. And then we have the DeX itself. The DeX, it pops up so it goes down into this nice little uh, round puck. It pops up and that's where you're able to sit in your phone. On the back, you have two USB ports a Ethernet port, as well as a HDMI to plug into your monitor, and the USB-C port to charge your phone and the device itself. Let me show you how to get it set up. Once you have all your gear set up, like your keyboard, mouse, and monitor, you're ready to plug all of them into the decks. Here I'm gonna plug in my mouse, and then I'm gonna plug in my keyboard. You do have the option for a ethernet port if you want. And then here I plug in my monitor through HDMI and then the USB-C cable to charge the phone as well as power the device. Once the monitor is on, the DeX is all plugged in. You're ready to insert the S8 and start using Samsung DeX. Just takes a second to go over to the computer the first time you do this, you will see a pop-up on the phone that says start DeX or use screen mirroring. When you start DeX, this is what your monitor will now look like. Here is my desktop. It's essentially my home screen of my phone. Here I have some favorite apps already or recently downloaded apps, just like on your phone. Here you can actually drag multiple items. I still have my right click, so if I right click, I can remove this app or uninstall it. Down here on the bottom, just like on a regular desktop, you will see your recent applications or the applications that are open. And if I click on an app, so here on the desktop, I double click, it will show recent pictures. And now that app is there. If I wanna create that as a shortcut, I just right click and say add shortcut. Now when I close the app, that will still be here. Over here, we have our applications button. So we can see all the apps that are on our phone. Some applications are not formatted for DeX. So here it says apps for DeX. This is where you can go and see applications that have been formatted and will work great here. Also, we have the recent apps key. So I just click that and it'll show the applications that I was recently on. And then here we have our home. So I just click home and it goes back to the home screen. Over here on the side, on the right side, we have our notification panel. So I can hide that a little bit or pull it back out. These are the notifications that I currently have. So I can click the three dot menu and I'll see all of those right here. And I can select one of them and it will pop up whatever application I was using. Over here, I have some other options. Um, let's see, I, we're casting in the home right now. I have Wi-Fi, my network, as well as my power. And we can see that this is charging. With the network, uh, of course, we're using Wi-Fi right now, but you do have that option to plug a full Ethernet into the back of the deck station. Then here I have keyboard settings. I have sound settings. So if I want to turn my ringtone on, I can do that. I have the screenshot right here so I can snap a screenshot and then it will pull it up just like on my phone. I can draw on it. I can crop or share. And then I have the search button here. So this is awesome because this is using all the data that's on my phone. So say I wanna go and watch a movie that I have stored on my phone. All I have to do is click that button to open it up and then I can click, um, let's see, where's a good movie? Right here, we got one. So I can click play and then I can go full screen. And the sound will play out on my phone. I can adjust that, uh, I could actually pair a Bluetooth speaker to my phone and then that would be my sound system. Here I have volume controls, I have full screen, I can even use the GIF animator right here on the device. So here I can say fit to whole 
whole screen or stretch. And then if I want to go back, I just go to the top of the screen. And here I have some minimize, uh, shrink buttons there, close, and then I have a back button. So I click that twice and it will take me back into my gallery that I can browse through those images. Now, like a full desktop, I can open up multiple apps. So say I want to go into my calculator and I want to go into the clock app. We can have all of those running at once. I can minimize them and they will all be down here at the bottom. So let's say I want to go and do an Excel document. So I can click Excel because maybe I was working on this before I opened up my desks. All I need to do is come in here. I can open that file back up and I have full edit ability. So I can use everything that Excel will do right in here and I have the full keyboard and mouse that I can use. Really handy to have. So because this is your phone plugged in to the Dex, whenever you get a notification, you will see that pop up. So let's try out text messaging. So here I receive my notification. I just want to click on it and that will pop it up. If I click reply, it will give me like the normal quick reply settings. So now I can use my full keyboard and I can type out that message and click send and that will send it off. Now let's try out a phone call. So up here I can click call. I could also go into my contacts or I can go into the phone application. So I'm just going to click call. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. So there we go. It jumps right into speaker mode. I have mute all that right on there. I could do a video call through Google Duo if I wanted to, and it will just use the camera on the S8 to do that. If I want to snap a photo, I guess I can do that going into the apps and open the camera. Here we can see what it is looking at. I can jump it around and go to the front camera right there. Oh, selfie time. So then if I want to change the desktop, all I would need to do is right click and here it says wallpapers for Samsung Deck. So it already has some pictures that you could use. You can go into your own gallery and find some of your own pictures. I can go to my albums here and choose any album that I want to go into and you could add your own image right there. So let's just change it to image Three. And here you can set home screen, lock screen. We'll just set it as the home screen for the decks. And then I click set as wallpaper. Boom, I have a new wallpaper. If I want to change the settings of the decks, I just need to go into the applications and go down to settings. And then here at the top, you have Samsung deck settings. So I can click here. I can change the screen timeout. So when I want it to lock, there I can change the wallpapers. Say I want to change my pointer speed. I can do all that. Um, I can change a virtual keyboard to pop up on screen, a physical keyboard, text to speech. I have all those settings right here. And here I like to have my pointer be a little faster. Okay, that's pretty fast. So I can drag that down here. If we go back, uh, we have just a few other normal settings that we would have on our phone. Let's go into a web browser. So anything you would have been browsing on your phone, when you click Chrome here, it is going to open those up as well. If for some reason a website is not playing like it normally would on the desktop, here in Chrome, you just need to click the three dot menu and click request desktop site, and then it will load up in full screen. Uh, here we can go, you can check out my website, uh, see everything looks great. And then say I want to play a video, and this is streaming over Wi-Fi. And here we can make it full screen. I'm going to show you five new features that you have on the Nougat update for your Samsung.
And then if I want to go back or pause, I can do all that right here on the screen. And then if I wanted to create a new tab, I can just pop that up and then choose wherever I want to go. And then when I close that or wherever I'm at, when I pop my phone out, it will go right back to the exact location. Here I can open my recent apps and I can close these one by one if I want to. I also have the close all button up here at the top. If you don't have a mouse to plug in with your Dex, you will have a mouse control application pop up on your phone. So here I can move the mouse around just by scrolling around on the phone. If I wanna right click, I just click with two fingers. And then if I go into a web page and say I want to type, if I don't have a keyboard, it will actually, so here I'm gonna unplug my keyboard it will then pop up a on-screen keyboard. So you don't even have to have a mouse and a keyboard, but you will have both of those options here. If you want to drag an item, all you need to do is go to the item you want to drag, hold down with two fingers, and then you can drag that item around. To switch to screen mirroring mode, you need to go down to the notification bar and click the little home. Then you have you can click on that to change the settings and it will switch to screen mirroring. Now, whatever you see on the phone will show up on the screen. So I can just navigate through this and use my phone as normal and you will see everything over there, just like you're mirroring your phone to any other screen through a Chromecast or through an HDMI cable. And this works the best way to mirror actually. So you can go into any application and let's say if we want to watch a movie, so I can go here into YouTube and I can go into one of my videos and to play in full screen on the TV, I just need to click and click the full screen button and then it would display in full screen. Then if I want to go back to desktop mode, I just pull down and then here you have switch here to switch to Samsung DeX. There of course are tons of different applications that you can use this for. I'm not gonna go into all of them, but really the Samsung DeX will do so much in helping you convert your phone into a full PC with a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about the Samsung DeX. If you have any further questions about this product, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you need a setup like this and you have an S8, make sure you check the description below to purchase the DeX as well as get a monitor, keyboard, and mouse that will work great. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button where I'm gonna bring you new tech tips, tricks, and tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday throughout your week so that you can know about the latest and greatest devices and how to use them. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.